Hi there, I'm Render Tom, and this is my demo video for plugin Renomi. Renomi is Python-driven Cinema 4D plugin that manages your rendered image sequences, that is, it preserves your object buffer names, gives a unique arbitrary name for your rendered passes, and puts your renders into your separate folders. Before I actually show you how Renomi works, let me demonstrate default Cinema 4D workflow and how it can be improved using my plugin. In Cinema 4D I have a really simple scene. Nothing spectacular. Jumping cube and a sphere. Cube has a compositing tag with object buffer number one, and the sphere has a compositing tag with the object buffer number two. Okay, I'm happy with animation. I'm going to render settings. For test purpose, I'm going to use really small resolution. Render all frames. After render is done, I think I will be using After Effects for some color corrections. Compositing, so I will be using, let's say, Shadow Specular Diffuser, some of these. But for now, let me just select all to emphasize the problem. Also, let's add object buffer one and object buffer two. Like this, let's like this. Let's name object buffer one to cube and object buffer two sphere. Oh sphere. Like this. Now back to save tab. Define where you want to save your images. I usually create two folders, one for main pass and another one for multipasses. So we'll go and rename those like this. Pass. Disable multilayer file. Choose some, some format for that. And I'm good. Let's render it out. Now, when the render is done, let's go to Finder and see how everything looks. Main pass. Everything nice. 50 files in one folder. I'm okay with that. But open up pass folder and you end up with 1300 files in one folder. Well, well, I don't like to work like this. I like when everything is nicely put in folders. So let's say motion is in motion folder. Reflections are in reflection folder. Shadows are in shadow folder and so on. Oh, and by the way, where is our object buffer? We took some time to rename those. There they are but we don't see them in our render output. Well, there they are, object 1 and object 2. It doesn't matter how you call them here. Cinema does not respect naming of object buffers in the scene. So, this is sphere and this is cube. Well, that's a big problem. Now let me show you my plugin in action. I created another scene, also very simple. Everything is uh, with object buffers. In render settings, I have small resolution, frame range, all of them. I'm gonna save right there. Save this one to passes. And save compositing project file as well. Okay. Now, under multi passes, I have object buffers, I renamed those and also added specular refraction and shadow. For test purposes, I'm gonna rename those as well. Specular to spec, refraction to refer, and shadow to shadow, like this. Okay, everything looks good. I'm ready to render. Go. Render is done. Back to finder, main folder. Everything nice. Pass folder. Well, we discussed it earlier. Object buffers are not renamed. Sorry for that. Now let's launch my plugin. You can find it under plugins. Renomi. There we go. Okay, now just to show you how it works, I'm gonna select only rename files based on multipass name. That means rename files based on multipass name. Well, the naming will be performed the way you name those here the same way they will come out here. Easy. Okay, 
I don't know, maybe they did 60 files. Awesome. There you go. Pass object buffer number one. The way we rename it here. Object buffer two, object buffer three, four, and so on. Refraction, shadow, specular. How awesome is that? Right? Let's, let me show you another feature. Render again. Move files to subfolders. Okay, go. Boom. Everything is nice and tidy. Object buffers are not renamed, as we don't have enabled rename files based on multipass name. Everything is by default, but everything is in nice and clean folder structure. Awesome. Rename folders based on multipass name. Go. Folders are renamed as well. The way you named it here, the way it comes up here. Ignore multipass checkboxes. Let's enable it. And let's disable some of those. Oh no, for now let's let's keep it let's leave it like this. Uh, the action will be performed only on files that have checkboxes on. And some of them you see are not are not processed. So let's enable ignore multipass checkboxes. So all the files will be processed. Awesome. Enable rename files based on multipass name and let's update our compositing project file. There it is. I'm gonna rename it to main renamed like this. Go. There we go. Updated project file. Awesome. How cool is that? Why doesn't Cinema have it by default? All right, based on path. Render again. Let's say you don't have this your original project. You are in new document, and there is no way Cinema knows what object buffer one refers to. So for that, we're gonna go to based on path and select where your renders are. Go and okay. Everything is in its own folder. Cool! <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you like my plugin. I hope it serves you well. If you have any questions, please drop me a note. And thanks for watching. Bye!